Guys, I'm at the 17th hole at Rocklands, having a squeeze at the latest from Strixon, the Z series. Cruzy dumped me this week because I beat him the last time. So he's at Benoni trying them out as well. While him and me are on the field side of the irons, PJ and Mark will tell you all about the technicalities that they put into this iron. Why don't you go have a look? Thank you for joining me, Mark. And uh, I must say, you've got some beautiful looking product here, the Z65 lineup. Three completely, distinctly different heads. PJ, obviously this follows on from the from the Z45 product we had, which we launched two years ago. 100%. So this is the latest and greatest we have. So yes. basically we have three different models. We have the Z965. This is a full muscle back blade and iron. Designed for your low, low handicap as your professional striker. Correct. Yeah. The next iron we have is the 765 iron, which is your cavity back iron. So your mid handicapper, mid to low handicapper, it's going to have a little more help with the Semi blade look to it. I mean, that's how I would classify it. Perfect, perfect. perfect. And then the 565, yes. which is an undercut cavity back iron, um, this obviously is for your slightly higher handicap. A bit too high, guys, because handicap I mean, there's an undercut, there's quite a big sole on it. I can see that. It does Correct. look quite forgiving. All three are forged. So this is all oh, three awesome. forged. Okay. Um, and the forging obviously is nice and soft and it gives you that really, really good feel. 100%. I mean, I mean, people always relate forging purely to a feel thing, but it's also for control. Forge is more consistent, better spin, better flights, more consistency. Better playability. 100%. 100%. So, Mark, I know there's a bit of tech going on there. I mean, I can see the VT sole and the tungsten weight in the toe. That, that looks similar to the previous generation, but I'm sure you guys have altered it, changed it. Changed up quite a bit, uh, PJ. The other thing as well is just remembering that this technology that we're going to go through now yes. flows through the whole thing. 100%, so, that was going to ask you that, yes. Correct. So this is from the 965, 765, as well as the, the 565? 100% correct. Awesome. So we've improved the VT technology on the sole. Yes. As you can have a look and see. It looks very aggressive compared to the last one. Correct. Sole. We're trying to make it even more stable. So we want to get the, when the club goes into the ground, yes. we're going to try and make it as stable as possible. The least amount of turf interaction that we can have, and obviously that'll... It'll improve your message, so your message won't be as so yeah, For a guy like me that gets quite steep into the to the ball, I mean, that's going to help reduce those big divots that I normally hit. I mean, that's that's really good tech. 100% correct. Really, really good. The second one is laser milling. Yes. So we've actually put laser milling between the grooves, but also we've made the grooves 5% bigger or larger than the previous one. Again, that control, get the spin rate up, the workability. And also clear out all the debris. So I suppose that's one of the most true. important things is, you know, grooves are there to clear out all the debris so you Correct. can get more ball onto the face of the golf club, so you're going to have that more control. Better contact, better control, Correct. 100%. So looking down at these, Mark, it's, it's definitely difficult to see which one is which. I mean, if I start swapping them around, you actually won't see which is which, which is magnificent. But guys, this leads me into next week's show. We're going to actually show you how to put a set of irons together, or at least how Strixen likes putting a set of irons together in, in terms of set makeup. We're talking not just irons, not the three different heads. You can do utilities, you can do hybrids. To build your perfect set, you might actually be pleasantly surprised.